second. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It always feels interesting to control devices wirelessly. For wireless communication, we commonly use Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. The Bluetooth modules are easy and simple to use, but the range is limited within a single room. In case of Wi-Fi, you can control the devices from anywhere, but only problem is you have to keep your internet connected always. So in this video, we'll try to explore a new kind of wireless trans receiver modules, which are quite easy to use and has better range compared to Bluetooth modules. And also they don't use any internet. This is RYLR. 998 LoRa module from Reax. Thanks to Reax Technologies for sending this component. They are the IoT and wireless solution providers and also they have certain wireless and IoT modules like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, RFID, LoRa and other wide range of products. So you can explore their website the link will be provided in the description box. This module is very small in size and has a built-in antenna. This can transmit data up to long range without any interference. One more advantage is the module uses very less power so it can be easily integrated within the battery operated systems. It can be also used with different network architectures like point to point and multi point. The module can be easily controlled by 80 commands. Now let's start with a practical. Before using these modules directly, we need to configure three basic things on each one individually bandwidth address and the baud rate. In order to make these configurations using the computer USB port, we need to use any type of USB to UART converter since the LoRa modules also support UART communication. In my case, I'm using FTDI USB to serial converter. This is how we have to connect the LoRa module with the serial communication module. Since this LoRa modules max operating voltage is 3.3 volts, make sure the VDD pin is connected to 3.3 volts. We can use directly the Arduino software itself to configure using 80 commands. So first I'll open the Arduino IDE. The board doesn't matter for now. Just select the appropriate COM port, whatever shows in your computer. Then open serial monitor. So this is where we can send the commands. By default, the modules baud rate will be 115200. So in order to synchronize the communication between the computer and the module, we'll set the baud rate to 115200 in the beginning. And here instead of new line, just select this NL and CR option. Just to check if your module is responding properly, send 80 and you should get the response as OK. Now it's ready for the configuration. First, we'll check the bandwidth, which is already assigned inside the module. For that, 80 plus band and question mark. So as of now, it's 915 megahertz. You should set this value according to your region bandwidth. In my case, 
it's 868 MHz. So for that, 80 plus band equal to 868 and six zeros. So OK is like positive response. Now if I again check what is the band, already the value is updated inside the module. So bandwidth is done. Now we'll see what is the address. 80 plus address question mark. So currently it is one. So now or to avoid confusion, we'll start with a zero. This you can assign any value for your reference. So my first module or the transmitter address, I'll set it to zero. For that 80 plus address equal to zero. Positive response again. So if I check the value, it is updated to zero. And finally, we have to set the baud rate. To know the baud rate, we should give 80 plus IPR question mark. It's 115200. Since I'm using these modules with Arduino Uno board, better to keep the baud rate less than this particular value. So I'll give it as 57600. So our module baud rate has updated already. So we have to also change the baud rate of the serial monitor for better synchronization. Now, if I check the baud rate, it is showing 57600. So all these three configurations are done for this first module. For the second module, this bandwidth and the baud rate will remain same, but address should be any value other than zero. By using this address IDs, the transmitter can recognize and send the data specifically to the particular receiver. So since this module's default baud rate will be 115200, make sure you set this value back. Giving 80, it's giving positive response. I'll directly change the band to 868 megahertz. Yeah. Next address to one. And the last one is the baud rate. So IPR will be 57600. Yeah, we are done. So we can also verify setting this same baud rate. Yeah, it's giving positive response. So we are done with the configurations for the second module as well. I'll just close this serial monitor. So using this modules and two separate Arduino Uno boards, I'll make one transmitter setup and one receiver. These are the reference circuits I have used for connections. So on the transmitter side, just we have the Arduino and the LoRa module to send the data continuously. And on the receiver side, we'll be receiving the data and using that information will also control the LED bulb. Moving to the code, so this left one is the code for transmitter. Here, this is how the transmit send command looks. 80 plus send equals first parameter indicates the address of the receiver to which we are sending the data. In our case, it's one. Next, number of characters we are sending. It's two because the actual character length is 2. So once I am sending low, after some delay, again high. So that's it, the transmitter code. On the right side, we have a receiver code. So here, we are receiving the data which is available in the serial buffer. And this is how usually the received frame looks. In this frame, Using string operations, 
will only extract the required data that is high and low characters using the same if it's low switching off the LED and if the data received is high will switch on the LED that is a simple code we are using for the receiver we'll upload this respective codes on the Arduino boards I have opened both the serial monitors of transmitter and the receiver separately so on this left side is the transmitter as we can see it's sending the transmit frame continuously and on the right side so this is how the receive frame looks and also I am printing the extracted data which is high and low so using the same the LED is switching on and off Now I'll keep the transmitter unit here on the fourth floor of the building. So the region currently where I'm staying is full of tall buildings and there is no open space. So we can give it a try. I'll start moving away from the transmitter. I have already reached the ground floor still I could see this is receiving the data and LED is working fine Now I have already reached around 750 meters from the transmitter unit. Till this point LED is working fine. If I start moving further, I could see there is some interruption in the signal and LED stop working sometimes. And if I come back inside the range, the connection automatically established and LED starts working back normally. Overall, the proper range I have got is around 750 meters within the city limits. So if you use the same in open space, the range will definitely go up to few kilometers. This module can be used in wide range of applications including home automation and also controlling the water pumps in the farm areas where there is no proper internet connection. I hope this video was helpful. All the sources for this project including code and circuit diagrams are provided in the description box. If you are interested with the product, make sure you check out the buying links below. And for more wireless communication modules, you can visit the Rayax website. Thank you for watching this video. I'll be back in another interesting one.